So let's introduce some basic terminologies. In GSM, when we talk about cache, what we mean is physical memory. We're not talking about the processor caches. We're talking about physical memory, that is the dynamic random access memory, or DRAM for short, which is the physical memory. That's what we mean when we use the term cache. And there is a sense of community to handle page faults at a particular node, so we'll get to that in a minute. And I mentioned that we're going to use peer memories as a supplement for the disk. In other words, we can imagine the physical memory at every node to be split into two parts. One part is what we'll call local, and local contains the working set of the currently executing processes at this node. So this is the stuff that this node needs in order to keep all the processes running on this node happy. Now the global is similar to a disk. This global part is where community service comes in. That is, I'm saying that out of my total physical memory, this is the part that I need to keep all the processes happy in my node, and this is the part that I'm willing to use a space for holding pages that are swapped out from my fellow citizens on the local area network. And this split of local and global is dynamic in response to memory pressure. As I mentioned earlier, the memory pressure is not something that stays constant, right? So over time, depending on what's going on in a particular node, you may have more need for holding the working set of all your processes, in which case the local part may keep increasing. On the other hand, if I go off for lunch, my workstation is not in use, and in that case, my local part is going to shrink, and I can house more of my peers' swapped out pages in my global part of the physical memory. So the global part is a spare memory that I'm making available for my peers, and local part is the part that I need for holding the working set of the currently active process at my node, and this boundary keeps shifting depending on what's going on at my node. Pretty simple. Normally, if all the processes executing in the entire local area network are independent of one another, all the pages are private. You know, I'm running a process, my process, my pages, and the contents of that pages are private to my process. On the other hand, you could also be using the cluster for running an application that spans multiple nodes of the cluster, in which case it is possible that a particular page is shared, and in that case, that page will be in the local part of multiple peers, because multiple peers are actively using a page. So we have two states for a particular page. It could be private or it could be shared. If a page is in the global part, of my physical memory, then it is guaranteed to be private because the global part is nothing different from a disk. So when I swap out something, I throw it onto the disk. Similarly, when I swap out something in GMS, I throw it into my peer memory's global cache. And therefore, what is in the global cache is always going to be private copies of pages, whereas what is in the local part can be private or can be shared depending on whether that particular page is being actively shared by more than one node at a time. Now, one important point, the whole idea of GSM is to serve as a paging facility. In other words, if you think about even a unit processor, if I have multiple processes sharing a page, the virtual memory manager has no concern about the coherence of the pages that are being shared by multiple processes. That's the same semantic that is used in GSM also, and that is coherence for shared pages is outside GSM. It's an application problem. If there are multiple copies of the pages residing in the local parts of multiple peers, maintaining their coherence is the concern of the application. That is not, that is not GSM's problem. Only thing that the GSM is providing is a service for remote paging. That's important distinction that one has to keep in mind. In any virtual memory management system, what you do is when you have to throw out a physical page, when you have to throw out a page from physical memory, you use an algorithm, a page replacement algorithm. And the page replacement algorithm that is typically employed in computer systems is some variant of an LRU, or least recently used algorithm. GSM also does exactly the same thing, except it integrates cluster memory management at the lowest level across the entire cluster. So the goal in picking a replacement candidate in GSM is to pick the globally oldest page for replacement. If let's say 
that the memory pressure in the system is such that I have to throw out some page from the cluster memory onto the disk. The candidate page that I'll choose is the one that is oldest in the entire cluster. So managing age information is one of the key technical contributions of GSM. How to manage the age information so that we pick a globally oldest page for replacement in the community service for handling page faults.